Okay, this is a very brief review of some of the places in Scott's Wahay Part 1 to look out for. Specifically, we're looking at your D-throw, and we don't want to get hung up on the low G of the D-throw at the beginning of the D-throw. And so this is super important to keep the tune moving along. So there's your low G, and it starts here. It's a G grace note to low A, B, D-throw, right? This needs to just be smooth. We're going to try this right now. Okay, the way it sounds is this. Okay, try that with me. One, two. And one, two. And one, two. Okay, you'll find that same phrase right at the end of the line as well, okay? And same thing, just make sure, except this, excuse me, this is going from B to C to D throw. So it's the same idea, same timing, same concept with regard to the D throw being smooth. We're not going to get stuck on the low, the low G. We're not going to go, right? You don't need to do that. You can play the D throw properly and quickly. You can go, so in this case, we're playing B, C, D throw. It's the fourth bar of the top line. Let's try it. One, two. And one, two. And one, two. Okay, so that should give you a good idea of what's going on with the D throws. The other um, place where a D throw shows up in this part is line two, and it's down here at the beginning of bar two, the second bar of line two. We have an F D throw. Um, what we can do is make an exercise out of this. We'll play the E before that. So it's E F D throw. Let's do that. And that is on a um, beat, so it's. <laughs> E, F, D, throw. Ready? On my count. One, two. And one, two. And one, two. Okay, so all those D throws need to be like that. Don't get hung up on the low G. The last part of the tune, or the last low G in this part of the tune that we're looking at is this low G here, this low G grace note on low A at the uh, second to the last bar, bar seven here. And this phrase, this phrase, we're going to start it from the B, all right? And then we're going to play the low G grace note on low A and then the um, second low A with a grace note. So what that's going to sound like is we're going to go... So I actually started that on the B before the G grace note on B. So I did it right here. Okay. We'll do it right here. It'll be on an and. It'll go one and two. Again. One and two. Again. One and two. Again, one and two. Last one, one and two. Remember, what we're listening for there is the low G doesn't, you don't spend a lot of time on it, right? It's just what tends to happen when you're overdoing it and trying to really force that low G, um, generally you're squeezing the channel when you do that, is you go, and we don't want that pause, right? We want to keep it, keep it moving. And so your job is to trust your fingers. They can cover that low G hole without you squeezing too hard. 
give it a try and then play it in the whole tune.